Hi, everyone. My name is Connor Meyer, and I'm a fourth year PhD student in biomedical engineering in the TAN lab at UC Davis. I became enamored with biology back in high school when I learned about proteins. The idea that with 20 building blocks, nature has been able to create these nanomachines capable of practically every function seen in biology. It is this fascination that brought me to where I am now, working with what are called cell-free protein synthesis systems. While the name sounds complicated, it just means that I'm able to synthesize proteins, but without a cell. This puts the capabilities of proteins in the palm of my hand, or more realistically, inside tiny wells where I synthesize them. Unfortunately, these systems are far from perfect, so I'm working to make them better. One of the critical shortcomings of this system is its ability to synthesize a subclass of proteins known as membrane proteins. These proteins span the envelope that encases cells and are responsible for many physiologically essential functions. For example, transport of nutrients, sensing and responding to the surroundings, sticking cells together, and so on. Because these proteins are so essential, dysfunction in them causes serious problems in humans. This is why roughly half of all FDA-approved drugs target this subclass. Unfortunately, our ability to understand and therefore target them is severely limited as conventional cell-based methods to synthesize them often fail. This is what makes them a great target for cell-free protein synthesis as it overcomes many of these shortcomings. The main advantage is that the system is highly customizable, allowing for the conditions to be tailored to the specific needs of the protein. However, this is sort of a double-edged sword because we don't know what conditions it needs and the possible combinations that can be tested are near infinite. To address the need to test so many combinations, I turn to my other passion, which is robotics and automation. As depicted in this image here, I have a droplet printing robot, which I've set up, that allows me to run over a thousand reactions per day. Um, so each one of these are independent cell-free reactions with all kinds of different variables that allow me to evaluate what works and doesn't work for different proteins. Um, to kind of give a sense of what these plots look like, um, I can go through, randomly distribute them amongst the plate to ensure that um, I don't have any embedded variants, and then render this association between the different variables I test and the actual outcome. Now, a thousand reactions a day sounds good, but in reality, I still will have this massive search base that's nearly infinite, and so I need to be smart about which reactions I choose. So to do that, I want to be able to take the data that I test um, from just randomly decided ones um, and then plug that into a statistical model to then make predictions. And this is exactly what machine learning is meant for. So in this somewhat convoluted diagram here, essentially what I'm showing is that I'm taking this new protein down here um, and then I want to decompose it into things that allow me to describe what it is. So instead of just saying protein X, really what it is is a bunch of different variables at, that will be similar and different from other proteins that I've already tested. And then I want to plug that into this machine learning algorithm that then makes predictions of what reactions I want to test. And so up here is then where my droplet printing robot comes in, where now I can change the membrane environment, different chaperone proteins, all the salt conditions, as well as modifications directly to the cell-free protein synthesis system. Um, and then have that information feed back into the machine learning algorithm to further improve the model and then make new predictions and repeat the cycle over and over again until I get the synthesis conditions that I want. Um, and as of right now, I have established all these components. So as I showed, I have the droplet printing robot. Um, myself and some colleagues developed this enhanced cell-free system uh, that triples the output of a standard system that's commercially available at less than a tenth of the cost. Um, also through, through some protein engineering, I was able to create this spooling reporter that allows me to get readouts from these. Uh, I built this protein structure database for me to decompose the um, different membrane protein features. And with all this together, I've now been able to run about 5,000 or so reactions, um, producing five different memory proteins, uh, with 12 more um, coming soon. And with that, I would just like to say a sincere thank you to the ARCS Foundation for providing me the funds that allows me to um, do this incredibly fun and hopefully useful research. Hope to talk to you at the uh, symposium.